I'm Frank Owen from Playboy magazine. I've never held a gun in my life, never shot one, and I used to think everybody who did were gun nuts, but I guess I'm going to become a gun nut now. So cool. <laughs> he's out here at the Texas Freedom Grounds and he's going to shoot this AK 47. <laughs> What's going on everybody? I'm out here in the Texas Freedom Grounds enjoying the freedom that I've provided for myself. We all know living in that concrete jungle, freedom is not coming to you and your government definitely won't, won't give you freedom so stop waiting for it. Come out here and join us in the Texas Freedom Grounds. I got a special vlog today. We got Playboy magazine coming in town. Uh, of course, a lot of people know me from all my open carry activism. It's coming this way to the Texas Freedom Grounds to do a story on open carry and then intertwine a little bit of that with the Texas Freedom Grounds now that I'm out here. Um, so uh, they'll be here today. I'm going to give you a sneak peek inside the scoop of uh, what they're doing. Uh, they got uh, photographers coming out. Um, in a couple weeks so I'll vlog that too when that time happens but it's just the the writer today and they're gonna be doing a story on open carry and Texas Freedom Grounds open carry Texas Freedom Grounds going worldwide right here Playboy magazine stay tuned <laughs> Playboy magazine on the open carry movement in Texas Freedom Grounds. He's checking out our area, checking out the sheep and the chickens, checking out the garden. He went to go get his camera real quick to take a couple flicks. I think he's digging it. communicating with each other you know like if, if somebody needs a plumber or electrician we don't call a big corporate company we you know there's there's somebody in our group that knows how to do it and we we, uh, we call amongst each other well and um, what was I gonna say you were saying uh, about um, I guess it would be different because you know you, you don't live like a commune this is not like some no. hippie commune right no. so you live as individuals on your own individual plots right so that's kind of different right I mean it's not like some religious yeah, coming into town, not at all. Like, stay. Uh, so. uh, and then, and then, like in the city, you have to have permission to park your car on your grass. Uh, you, you have to have permission to put a new door on your house. Uh, you, <laughs> <do>? <laughs> you, you, you have to keep your grass below a certain level, uh, or you'll get a ticket. And if uh, you don't pay the ticket, they'll send men with guns to your house and kidnap you and take uh, you and lock you in a cage. Uh, 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 and out here, you can have weeds, and I can have my wood chips, and I can have a fire pit. Like I had that fire going all night long, sitting out there by with a pistol all night long. And, Nobody says anything, but if you did that in the city, uh, you would probably get mobbed by cops coming up there saying that there's a guy with a, a guy sitting by a fire with a gun. Well, and then I, and I picked this up yesterday to put in the ground. That's more lettuce and kale and broccoli. Kevin, 
Because he was retiring, he might be self-sufficient? Uh, what, 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 like five to seven years? I'm hoping so. Maybe. You know, me personally, I'm a city boy for 28 years. Some uh, okra, watermelon, more pepper, basil. <laughs> Kickback that we were getting and uh, being oppressed and stuff like that, you know, uh, yeah. we started realizing, like, hey, man, I thought, I thought this was the way to go about and doing things correctly. And, you know, we were down at the Capitol giving testimony. We were being delegates for the Republican Party, getting all these things passed. We were doing it like we were supposed to and still not getting what we wanted. And so we figured out, well, uh, you know. Well, what else do you want? I mean, at the moment, you, I mean, it's legal, huh? Well, it, a form of it's legal, but it was a form of statism, uh, hardcore statism, statism that was passed. You know, right now to open carry your pistol, you have to pay a tax, you have to ask your government for permission, and you got to get your fingers printed. Right. But, uh, and then, you know, you know some of these, uh, the Texas, what was it, the TSRA? Mm -hmm. uh, well, the Texas, Texas State Rifle Association. Mm -hmm. Texas State Rifle Association, they were behind the curtain of tyranny, they were lobbying for for uh, licensing because it's all about the money, you know? And so was the NRA too. Well, because I've had logs a little blind. Sure. They haven't developed my game. Yeah, Maybe the reason that they think that is because there is more males than females, right. but oppression, I really do believe, is a real thing on women in right. the country, and so I think it's a lot harder for them to wake up than it is for men. With Andre staying home exactly. with the children, exactly. and homeschooling them, and feeding them, and her going and working. And so. Oh, but the thing I want to ask, are, are, are the kids all homeschooled? Yes. Yeah. Every one of them. Well, right now, how old are you? Yeah, Kenny had his and I think he no took them out. No yeah. Yeah. But, 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 but the, the, the ideal situation is for you guys to homeschool. Well, it's right. the ideal situation is for whatever those parents want to do with their kids, uh, whether they want to have them in a private school or no school or so homeschool. So, so they I'm holding the gun actually. And uh, so you, you're a writer for Playboy, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Frank Owen from Playboy magazine. I've never held a gun in my life, never shot one, and I used to think everybody who did were gun nuts, but I guess I'm going to become a gun nut now. So cool. <laughs> he's out here at the Texas Freedom Grounds and he's going to shoot this AK 47. So uh, that 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 stump right there. That yeah. You know we we aim down at the ground. Okay, I right got it. there. Um, you you want to chamber it and do all that? First you do it and I'll just shoot and then then the next time I'll chamber it myself. Okay. So, it um, so we got an AK-47 here. It's on safety. Take it off safety. Put it in the fire. There is a bullet in this, so once you pull that trigger, it's going to go boom. Okay. So remember, the first three rules of gun safety is never put your finger on that trigger uh, until you're ready to fire. So you're like this at all times until you're ready to fire, and then your finger goes on that trigger. Yeah. Well, that's, there you go. I'm going to get hot. Go ahead and watch your finger on the trigger. Yep. You get it in the pit there. And you're aiming through. Close. What did they hit? I didn't see it. Just above it. Actually, I saw you kick a little bit of the top piece off. We're getting better. <laughs> so, yeah. Aim a little bit lower if you have to. 
See, look into it. Now it looks like I'm hitting the ground. Okay, let me try this. Yay. Nice. Yeah. So that's why you get a lot of practicing to control your body. It comes above it, right? There you go. You hit the back end of that one. Oh, you see, that's it. I guess I got it now. So if I look like I'm trying to aim for two finger feet, off your trigger. I'm oh, sorry. If I if I like if I'm um, looks like I'm aiming like about a foot in front of it. That's what I hit. Right. Because that's probably the way I'm holding my yeah. body, right? right? And then right now, the go kick. ahead and point your gun down. Just kind of get in the habit of always putting the gun pointed down unless you're actively getting ready to shoot something. Okay, well, let me hang out the We're, We're super safe. safe. In case I get too excited <laughs> to shoot somebody. And see, and, and this is actually one of the reasons What's that, that orange thing right there? I want to see that orange that, thing. That a lot so, of what do you think about your first time shooting a gun? I think you've converted me. I'm a gun nut, officially. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm out here in the Texas Freedom Grounds. Uh, our man Frank Owen from Playboy Magazine is about to take us out to eat. Uh, Hugh Heffern is playing, paying for it. What do you think about going out to eat with uh, Playboy Magazine? I think it's awesome. Sweet. Dinner on, lunch on Hugh Heffern. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna pop the trunk and dip as some of the wrappers would say. Andre and the kids, yeah. 12-ish. 12, you start 12. I never have anybody, I'm sorry. Okay, we can take them out. Can you just take them out? You don't mind leaving the car? No, you don't mind leaving. It, it would be great if we could just keep them. We're, we're doing a, like a documentary or story, but it's no yeah, fun Yeah, but you know, I'm sorry. It's not me, it's just like other people. Oh. Yeah, I'm a right. Please. Yeah, All right. Mind. Oh, we can. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. So as you can see, uh, he Norm actually just suggested that we put our nice about it, very polite he just suggested uh, in case other people in the uh, restaurant didn't like it he yeah. suggested this yeah. he said he said it's not me it's other people scared. Right. and just now from your perspective did you seem like he was freaked out at all no no look he seemed a little <laughs> perturbed <laughs> 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 i would say freaked out <laughs> all right so this time we're going to go back in uh without the ak-47 and the sks they did allow Daniel to open carry his pistol though, so, uh, you know, we respect private property and it's all good.
this local flea market here in Quinlan. And as you can see, we are open carry. So we're out here in Quinlan, Texas. We're at this flea market. We're with uh, Frank Owen, Playboy magazine. He wanted to do an open carry walk with us. Uh, so this is his first open carry. Uh, he's, he's come here. Uh, he's from England and uh, Manhattan. And then now he lives down by uh, in South Florida. Never shot a gun, never done an open carry walk. We popped his cherry on both today, right here, Texas Freedom Grounds. So we are out here now, fast forward probably about five hours after our uh, Seen at the restaurant where we locked the keys in the car. I had to go to my slave job for a little bit, and uh, well, Frank decided to stay the stay the evening with us. So we're hanging out here by the fire in the Texas Freedom Grounds with uh, the writer from Playboy, Frank Owen, and uh, we're just relaxing by the fire, having some beers. No, I think that's where the kids are. Kids are playing in the background and. We're just enjoying our freedom and, and our life out here.